Hello, Odooers. Here at Stealthy Wood, we use Odoo's Help Desk application to communicate with our customers. Help Desk provides a fully integrated solution with multiple channels so customers can choose exactly how they connect with us. Email is one of the primary ways customers currently reach out to companies. It's central to everyday communication, it's familiar, and it's trackable with an easy trail of messages to reference later on right there in your inbox. By providing convenient and efficient support, your satisfaction rates will go up and so will your sales. So let's look at how to receive incoming tickets through an email alias and a website form. We also have a separate video dedicated to live chat, so be sure you check that out as well. So let's go ahead and jump into StealthyWoods database. All right, here I am on the Help Desk application looking at the main dashboard. Now, before continuing, make sure you install the website application because we will need it for this video. So let's go ahead and jump to configuration and then Help Desk Teams. And I'm going to go to my team order status and shipping. I'm going to click on edit. All right, and you're going to see that I have both email alias and website form activated. So I'm going to receive tickets through these channels. Now, of course, you can customize the email alias. So in this case, a ticket will be created if someone sends an email to orders at stealthywood88.odoo.com. So um, to orders at mycompany.odoo.com. And you can use this email address on your website, um, marketing materials, or anywhere you know your customers might need to get in touch with you. All right, and then underneath website form, we're gonna have this button, view the ticket submission page, which will redirect you to the website. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. All right, so I have been redirected. And of course we have a page um, where a user can go to submit a ticket. To be sure that it's published, we'll see this green tag published here. And I just have to click on that to unpublish it or republish it. I'm also gonna click on edit. And you may want to, um, Modify the email address that is under the connect with us section, or in my case, it's the get in touch section. All right, I can double click that to be sure that the email is correctly input, but I already have that um, done. So let's go ahead and save this. All right, so everything is set. So we're gonna go ahead and move to a different window so I can show you what this page will look like as a public user. All right. So we're going to um, our submit a ticket page back on our website, but you'll see I'm not signed in. So this is exactly what your customer would see. And let's pretend I'm a Stealthy Wood customer that needs help with a shipping issue. So we're going to submit a ticket. So first of all, I need to type my name and then we're gonna add our email. I'm gonna add um, the subject as well and then a description. So um, let's say, please help. Uh, my table leg is broken. All right, and we're also gonna add an attachment as well. So just a picture of the broken table leg, and then I'm gonna click on submit. As soon as it's submitted, we are going to have a confirmation page and we're going to see our ticket reference here, but we're also going to receive a confirmation email as well. So let's hop on over to our email. All right, so I have that email from Odoo, and then I'm gonna click on view ticket. All right, so this is going to redirect me back to the Odoo website. So here the customer will see the full conversation. We're gonna see the agent's reply. And um, we will also be able to um, comment again, attach documents so we can keep track of the full conversation here, which is really great. So now I have decided to reach out with another issue, but this time instead of going to um, the submit a ticket page, I'm simply just going to send an email to the email alias. All right, so let's close these. I'm gonna compose a new email. So that was um, orders at stealthywood88.odoo.com. Uh, and let's go ahead and um, add the subject. So when will my order arrive? And I will say, Please help, I really needed my order a few days ago. And then we're going to send this. Okay, so of course, once it's sent, Odoo will receive that email in the form of a ticket. And then it's, we're going to receive a confirmation for that ticket as well. And as you can see, that has just arrived. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then we can click on view the ticket again as we did earlier. 
All right, and then we can see the full conversation. And if I already um, have an account on this website, so if I'm a portal user, I can sign in in order to keep track of all of my tickets. So I'm gonna log in. Here I'm on my account. All right, and we're gonna see that there are two tickets. So Odoo did recognize my email address and I can keep track of those, which is really nice. But now let's imagine that I'm not a customer anymore. I'm actually a Stealthy Wood customer service agent. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back um, to my database and go to my help desk overview. All right, so we're going to help desk and then I'm gonna jump directly to the order status and shipping pipeline. So let's check out our tickets. Now you're going to see that we have both of those tickets under the new column that I've just created. Um, and Odoo, of course, applied um, the customer, Jihad. So let's go ahead and check out the first one. When will my order arrive? All right, so we have our help desk team, of course, because um, we sent that email to this alias. Um, we also have the company that's related to the customer and Odoo did again recognize this customer, so it automatically was applied there. And then we also have the customer email address. And then we're gonna see that the subject of the um, email, so the subject line, is now the title of the ticket. And then we also have the body of the email here recorded in the chatter as well. So everything we need, we're able to keep track of. We don't miss a single bit of information. But let's go back to the pipeline and we're going to open the ticket that we submitted through the form. All right, so the table leg here. Now again, all of the relevant information shows up on the ticket form. We have the attached image, which is here in the chatter. And then once again, I can also click on the customer's name and I'll be redirected to their um, contact information. And then I'll have all the additional information that I have for this customer. So if they had any purchases or sales, um, if we have invoiced, basically all of the customer history we can find right here. Now, if I need to message this customer back, I can easily send a message. Hello, I am working on this. And of course, the customer will be notified. They will receive an email um, and the email will direct them to their portal as well where they can keep track of everything. So it's very convenient for both you and the customer. But now let's click back to our ticket pipeline. And let's imagine that a customer calls in and we can't answer their question right away right there on the phone. Well, what we can do is we can create a ticket manually simply by clicking on the create button. Now, all I have to do is add a subject and that is the one mandatory field. So let's go ahead and say a uh, phone call follow up. Um, and let's say Shahad again. All right, and then we can go ahead, add the customer. If we know who the customer is, um, we can also make this a priority since we know this is very urgent for the customer. Um, and then we can add email, uh, other emails in CC. We can do whatever we need to do, add tags as well. Um, and I can even assign it to myself. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. Now it was super convenient and easy to create a ticket as well. Now that's all for this help desk video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.